G'day folks, Sapper here with another World of Warships video. Welcome to Bluff, or Bottom Line Upfront, a series where I review ships but give you the need to know first thing and the in-depth meat further on. Think of it as a ship review video but with a TLDR. North Carolina in 2020 is still one of the strongest battleships in the game, tier for tier, but she has slow shells. Can Iowa measure up to her predecessor, or has she been overshadowed by more recent releases? With that in mind, here is my review of the Tier 9 US Navy battleship, Iowa. The bluff for Iowa is that she is a good ship that is enjoyable to play thanks to her consistent gunnery and good speed, but she doesn't have the armour, citadel layout or super heal to match other techline Tier 9 battleships in durability. Iowa is flexible and performs well in mobile fire support roles, and if players can avoid being focused, Iowa will reward good aim and clever positioning with good results. Iowa is good, but there are a lot of good battleships at Tier 9. Iowa is a direct evolution from North Carolina in most regards, but ends up being eclipsed in durability by most of her peers. She is armed with 9 406mm guns in triple turrets and a modern armour scheme. Much like her predecessor, she has 32mm armour all over, except for a 38mm middle deck area. Compared to North Carolina, her vertical citadel area has been reduced and sits about waterline. It is a long citadel, and if you show too much side, expect to eat at least some chunky pens. Overall, this combination of traits is an improvement compared to North Carolina, but almost all other Techline Tier 9 battleships have better durability in some manner. Lion has a super heal. Izumo, FDG and Savetsky Soyuz have armour, and even Alsace has a bit of a turtle back. Iowa has slightly improved torpedo protection compared to North Carolina, with a torpedo damage reduction of 25%. This is some of the worst among Tier 9 battleships, but many Tier 9 battleships have the same or similarly poor torpedo protection, so Iowa is not unique. Iowa is not tanky, except through being a battleship and having improved DCP and improved heal. She makes up for this by being fast, 33 knots fast. She also has great concealment at 12.7 kilometers with full concealment build. And the trick to playing her involves using her speed and concealment as much as her health to survive, but more on that later. Iowa has great AA that will cause issues for tier 8 aircraft carriers, but tier 10 aircraft carriers will still reliably get drops off and will target you if you make it easy for them, but generally you won't be their first pick. So what about the most important bit? The guns. Iowa's guns are great. They are a direct upgrade from North Carolina, being 50 calibre instead of the 45 calibre seen on her. This means that their shell travel time is much better, although it is fairly slow for a tier 9, and her penetration is decent and gets the job done. Iowa's guns are accurate, if you take the slot 6 artillery plotting mod, and I strongly recommend you do. From there, in most circumstances, the shells will feel like North Carolina shells, but with better ballistics and better groupings most of the time. The biggest difference between the two ships is that North Carolina can throw some really wide shells sometimes, but Iowa doesn't have this issue anywhere near as much, and subsequently feels more consistent. In summary, Iowa is an upgrade from North Carolina in every respect, but when compared to her peers at Tier 9, she is noticeably squishier. There is nothing wrong with this, however, as her guns are among the best in the tier, and she is the quickest while still having amazing concealment. So how do you play her? Simply, Iowa is a highly mobile fire support platform. She does her best work when not focused, and as such will find herself fighting at long range most of the time. For basic level players, staying with the fleet and providing second line gunnery is your best bet. When it's safe to do so, use your speed to catch up to an allied push, or in combination with your concealment to make a quick retreat. Because of her durability challenges when compared to other high tier battleships, some players will struggle with Iowa as she does punish poor positioning. This is somewhat balanced by improved DCP and improved heal, but these aren't defining factors. Advanced level players will find a lot to like as Iowa rewards good positioning and good aim more than many of her peers. Iowa provides the speed to get into good fire support positions quickly and the concealment to escape or go dark. 
In this sense, she's ideal for finding that niche location to get crossfire opportunities on the enemy, be it on a flank or from a more central position. When top tier, Iowa can bully tier 7s, but against tier 8s, tier 9s or tier 10s, she plays much the same as the broadside weight of battleships at those tiers can be punished. Thankfully, T9 matchmaking is the kindest in the game at the moment, and most of the time Iowa will be top tier. Whether Iowa is versing tier 7s or tier 10s, if a player of any skill can position themselves well, they will make up for Iowa's main weakness being her durability. And successfully doing that, they can have a chance at enjoying the fruits of her good gunnery. All that said, on to the build. For modules, pick up Hull B first as it gives you almost 11,000 health and a massive improvement to AA. After that it's up to you, but I recommend Hull C for improved rudder and some more AA, as Iowa has decent range and speed in her stock configuration. Then pick up range mod because the game is fought at over 20km a lot of the time, and then propulsion to get you up to that nice 33 knots. For consumables, Iowa has the US improved DCP and improved heal, the same as her predecessors. For plane options, I take spotter for those times when you need a little bit of extra range. For upgrades, main battery 1, Damcon 1, turret traverse, Damcon 2, concealment, and in slot 6, artillery plotting. For captain skills, expert loader, adrenaline rush, basics of survivability, and fire prevention for 10 points. Then pick up concealment for 14, superintendent for 17, and expert marksman for 19. Halsey and the Doe brothers are ideal thanks to improved expert loader and expert marksman skills. The full bottom line is that Iowa is an enjoyable ship with good gunnery and great speed, but she does worse than her peers when under focus fire. She is a mobile gun platform that still compares well to other T9s in 2020. Much of getting the most out of Iowa is capitalising on her speed and concealment as much as her gunnery. She does get punished for positioning errors more than most tier 9 battleships and as such doesn't quite have the same presence as others. However, despite her comparatively lower durability, if players can position and aim well, Iowa will be able to get them good results. If I had to choose one word to describe Iowa's guns, it would be... Reliable. In this day and age of endless T9 premiums, Iowa is still a good ship, and it's fun to use this reliability to correct others' mistakes. Iowa is still a good ship in 2020, but unfortunately Tier 9 is saturated with premiums, and she gets a bit lost in all that noise. So how does Iowa compare for noobs or skills? Iowa loses points compared to her peers in durability and torpedo protection but she gains points in speed, concealment, gunnery, and AA. Iowa has poor durability comparative to other tier 9s, but makes up for it in a range of areas and is a surprisingly balanced but enjoyable ship. So for the scores. Nubometer, 7 out of 10. Iowa is good, but some players will find her punishing to play compared to other tier 9 battleships. This is almost entirely down to positioning and Iowa's comparatively low durability for tier 9. If players can work within those limitations, Iowa can be a lot of fun. Skillometer? 8 out of 10. Iowa rewards good play and skilled players will find Iowa consistent and reliable, but at tier 9 being short on durability can impact carry potential for a battleship. Iowa is great, but there are a lot of great tier 9 battleships, and some have a little bit more pizzazz. My recommendation is to free XP Iowa's B hull, and then play through her to get to Montana. While she isn't quite as good as North Carolina, tier for tier, she's reliable and enjoyable, and tier 9 matchmaking is some of the best in the game. While she isn't the most fearsome tier 9 battleship, Iowa can still punish tier 10s when they make mistakes. Iowa is a good ship in 2020, she just gets a bit lost in all the noise. So what did you think of Iowa or this review? Do you agree with me? Let me know down in the comments. Iowa for me was a lot of fun. I almost rated her higher, but there are so many good tier 9 battleships, including a range of premiums. So while she wasn't really a decline from North Carolina, she wasn't really an upgrade tier for tier either. But what about Montana? 
Can the original 12-gun Tier 10 Cruiser Killer still compete at the start of 2021? We'll find out in the next episode of Bottom Line Upfront. Thanks for watching folks, stay healthy and I'll catch you in the next one.